There are no silly questions and we thrive on answering all your doubts. While dedicated doubt solving live classes are a part of every course, we also have the ask a doubt feature for quick resolution of doubts even after your live classes. Just click on ask a doubt, type your question or click a picture of your doubt, highlight one specific question, choose the subject that the question falls under and share it with your educator. Let's crack it. An academy. Let's crack it. There are no silly questions and we thrive on answering all your doubts. While dedicated doubt solving live classes are a part of every course, we also have the ask a doubt feature for quick resolution of doubts even after your live classes. Just click on ask a doubt, type your question or click a picture of your doubt, highlight one specific question, choose the subject that the question falls under and share it with your educator. Let's crack it. An academy. Let's crack it. There are no silly questions and we thrive on answering all your doubts. While dedicated doubt solving live classes are a part of every course, we also have the ask a doubt feature for quick resolution of doubts. Hi everyone. Hello. Thank you so much for waiting for me. Yes, I know there was a technical glitch and that happens. Huh? That is why Diksha ma'am is a little bit late. But thank you so much everyone for waiting for me. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you so much everyone. Thank you. I'm absolutely fine. Let's see who all are already here. Thank you so much. Samriddhi, Rhea, Devanshi, Padmaja, Arnima, Abhishek. Then we have Arjun. Hi. Hi Athar, Chocolate Boy. Hi Rhea. Okay, Ankita, hi. Thank you so much. Hi, Unacademy Fan Club, Nush. Hi, everyone. Kantya, Kanchan, hello. Thank you so much for joining in. And thank you so much for waiting also because we had some technical glitch. That is why we were late. But chalo, koini, we are back. Okay. So, Ocha Om is here. And uh, huh, Divi Gangster Fan Club is here. Amazing. Very good. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, nay, nay, Arjun, definitely I have told you, I have told you about red hats. Okay, so we are going to start part 2 of the chapter Crop Production and Management today. Hi, Gansham, hi, Priyanshu, hi, everyone, hi, CM. So, one thing, guys, today we are going to do hardcore study. So, I will reply to all of yours comments at the end of the session, okay? So, in between, if you know about the topic that I am teaching or if you know about the answers of the questions that I am asking, then you will definitely answer those in the chat box, right? Hi, hello ma'am, nickname, everything ma'am will definitely answer at the end of the video. Okay, if you have answers about whatever I am speaking about, do write that in the chat box and I will call out that. Hi Charvi, hi everyone, hi cute girl, hi Abhijit, hi yes French fries, hi Vaishnavi, hi Danya. Thank you so much everyone for joining in. Ah uh, guys, about the menti, menti is tomorrow. Today we have live quiz, right? So today absolutely there will be a live quiz after this session. Diksha ma'am will share the uh, live quiz code just after the session, right? And of course we have challenge of the day, right? So do you want to see who are the winners for the last part? As I have told all of you that after every session, I am going to give you challenge of the day and you have to reply in the comments, right? So, in the comment section, the last ones, people who have answered the fastest in the comments, I have got their name over here. Tan -tan so, Diksha ma'am's winners of part one of crop production and management, names are here. Anisha DB Champ, Soma Rani from the uh, name which I got. Danya Fatima, Srishti Srivastav, Atharva Chocolate Boy, Kanan Sharma, Amrita S, Shubham Yadav, Anya, Guddu and Bhumi. So these were the people who were the winners of the last uh, challenge given by Diksha Ma'am in part 1 of Crop Production and Management. They had written the correct answers in the comment section. So if you want your name to be featured in the next video in part 3 of the video, 
आज का चैलेंज जरूर सुनना एंड क्विकली यू हैव टू बी द फर्स्ट वन टू राइट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन वॉट इज द आंसर ऑफ द चैलेंज ठीक है How many parts of this chapter? At least we will have three or four parts of the chapter. I think four parts, so definitely, right? So second part is today. We will have two more parts of the chapter, and every part will have winners like this. So first part, congratulations. So first part winners names are here. If you want your name also to be here, do not forget to write down in the comment section of the video the challenge answers. ठीक है? ओके सो थैंक यू सो मच यस लास्ट क्लास क्विज विनर है ये लोग चलिए तो लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑफ टुडेज टॉपिक टुडेज टॉपिक इज बेसिक प्रैक्टिस ऑफ क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन सो एज यू ऑल्सो इन द थम नेल वी आर गोइंग टू डू प्लाउंग सोइंग फर्टिलाइजिंग एंड मैन्योरिंग टूडे राइट लास्ट क्लास आई हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड विथ यू टू द टॉप इंट्रोड्यूस टू द टॉपिक राइट वी हैव इंट्रोड वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस द टॉपिक विच वॉज एग्रीकल्चर right i told you na that 18% of india's gdp is actually coming from agriculture right so today we are going to study how this agriculture is done theek hai question i will uh, reveal at the end of the session okay oh very good all the people who have exams all the very best so you all can ace your final exams with an academy plus and an academy plus subscription you are getting at flat 10% off with my referral code db life 10 so you can see db life 10 code is running just in the ribbon of the screen okay so welcome to my class everyone my name is diksha bhavalka i'm your science educator on an academy and i'm a teacher since 2011 very good riya very good very good theek hai so everyone quickly uh, note down my referral code which is db life 10 so first thing that you have to do is follow me on an academy right second everyone join me uh, with my referral code db life 10 and the third thing is we have a telegram channel uski link aapko description box mein milegi right so we have the description uh, box here right now after the video you can see the description box there is a telegram channel link which will help you to attend all our youtube and plus classes and of course the re um, revision classes as well okay so quickly everyone what you have to do is subscribe to the channel and quickly quickly hit the like button okay so kya lag ho raha hai kya nahi nahi lag to nahi hai oh ho cm don't worry Yes I can see some lag is there on the video Okay I think everything is fine now thank you so much I think कुछ technical glitch हो रहा है आज let's not ignore that and let's start the session ठीक है so we start the session with a beautiful quote of the week that I also uh, told you in the first class that is farming farming is just not just for growing crops it is for cultivation of human beings isn't it so basically all the people who are are involved in farming they are just not growing crops they are actually actually cultivating us as well because we all are growing with the help of crops isn't it oh ho oh, i think lag nahi ho raha na okay okay lag nahi ho raha thank you so much so let's begin with today's topic which is preparation of soil sowing adding manure and fertilizers so the basic practices of crop production so without wasting any time let's quickly come on to the main topic right so first of all whenever we want to produce any crops right producing a crop is not a one day affair it takes at least 3 to 4 months and that we have learnt in the rabi and the kharif crop session right for example the kharif crop it is sown in the month of june it is harvested in september 
so june to september is the duration till which the crop has to be taken care of isn't it that is why the same thing comes when whenever we want to do agriculture whenever we want to produce a crop first thing that we have to do is prepare the soil ha uh -huh. so first we have to prepare the soil so what is to be done when we prepare the soil first thing is that the soil must be loosened soil ko fatafat loose karna padega theek hai to loosen matlab now as you all know that soil can be in clumps right soil can just become dry and they can form lumps right because of that the air will not pass through it the roots will not penetrate through it so what we have to do is we have to make the soil moist theek hai we have to make the soil moist and we have to loosen them theek hai so for that for that what we are going to do is we are going to plow the soil we are going to till the soil so the terms that i am uh, putting pressure on it is plowing plow the soil and till the soil so tilling the soil also one more term you can write down is loosening the soil loosening the soil right so plowing the soil loosening the soil tilling the soil right very good sheetal very good very nice absolutely now why do we do this why do we do this first reason very very important roots can grow deeper have better access to soil water and nutrients so all of you know that the roots the roots of the plants they take in the uh, water from the soil isn't it so if there are no lumps in the soil if there are no lumps in the soil and the soil is absolutely loose roots will be able to go far farther into the soil and they will be able to take the water and minerals right second reason second reason is second reason is allow the air to go in the soil so roots can breathe easier right so of course whenever whenever the roots want air they will take it from the soil so when the soil is loose it will have porous materials in it it will have air it will have uh, space in it so that air can pass through it right so this is the second reason next promote the growth of friendly microbes and earthworms right so basically whenever the soil will be loose there will be earthworms growing inside them there would be microbes going inside them and they will do what they will do nitrogen fixation you must have learned about me that earlier as well nitrogen fixation is the process by which microbes a uh, microbes such as rhizobium rhizobium bacteria it converts the nitrogen available in the air into usable compounds right so that can be done when the soil is loose right hi ekta hello hi charvi hi everyone okay and finally redistribute nutrients between several layers now suppose the top soil the top soil has a lot of nutrients but when you loosen it when you till it when you plow it all the nutrients will get mixed in the layers of the soil right so four main reasons why the there is a need for plowing the soil so these reasons you can take a screenshot of it right because this is very very important for revision why in the examination theek hai okay also very very important thing is humus humus is the organic part of the soil it is composed of dead and decomposed plants and animals so generally you will uh, hear from the teachers and all from your uh, environmentalists that humus is very very important humus is very very important for the soil hi everyone hello hi rohani hi charvi so yes so humus is a very organic part of the soil organic means what dead remains of plants and animals dead and decaying plants and animals they provide a lot of nutrients to the soil right that that is exactly what is making humus an essential component of soil right also the dark color of humus takes in heat and helps to keep the soil warm so as you all know that warmth is also very very important for the plant to grow so humus is a very important component of the rich soil theek hai okay so what is tilling or plowing the soil it is the process of turning the soil loosening the soil usually done with the help of plows so plow se hi aa raha hai plowing plow se hi aa raha hai plowing also hoe and cultivators are two weapons are uh, not two weapons two instruments you can say right two tools you can say so they are the tools which help the uh, which help the farmer to plow the soil in the case of arid soil now what do you mean by arid 
arid matlab arid matlab dry soil in the case of dry soil suppose the soil is very very dry what you will do is suppose you want to do farming and the soil is very dry you will add water to it you will add water to make the soil moist so for example let's say we have dry flour we have dry atta koi baat nahi ruhani koi baat nahi so suppose we have dry flour dry, dry atta right and you want to make a dough out of it what do you do you put uh, water you put more and more water which actually makes it moist and then you can make the dough out of it similarly in the case of arid soil dry soil you will add water to moisten it before tilling tilling makes pros crumbs that are chunks of earth and a level of breaks them into smaller bits now there might be a case that bigger bigger a stone kind of thing or lumps kind of thing have been formed so what will happen once you start tilling those lumps will start coming up because they are not mixing with the soil then what you will do you will take a uh, help of a leveler theek hai you will take help of a leveler leveler is a machine so at the back of me you can see so everyone can see the leveler over here yes charvi absolutely so everyone can see a leveler at the back of me so leveler leveler actually helps to break these bigger pieces of crumbs or chunks into small small pieces right so leveling ensures uniform sowing and irrigation so suppose you have taken the help of leveler you have taken the help of leveler then what will happen your soil will become absolutely plain and it will actually help in sowing and irrigation theek hai yes yes charvi there are theek hai after tilling after tilling we what we will do is we can also add manure ma'am what is manure i will definitely tell you that in this session so manure also you can add which actually helps to make the soil fertile so that also you can do at this level theek hai okay so how do we plow the soil how do we plow the soil we plow the soil with the help of the plow this is the plow as you all can see this is a plow hai na this is a plow it is used for for uh, for tilling turning mixing manure and weeding now what is weeding now what is weeding weeding doesn't mean wedding theek hai weeding is not wedding or marriage weeding means pulling out those plants which are undesired or unwanted they have grown themselves and we have nothing to do with them right they are actually are the competitors of our crops they are taking up the space they are taking up the sunlight they are taking up the nutrients from the soil so that is why we have to remove those weeds and that also we can do with the help of plow theek hai chocolate boy aaj hoga live quiz did you see i so showed your name on the screen isn't it okay so finally traditionally wooden but now increasingly metallic so earlier wooden plow was only wooden but nowadays plow is also made from iron or metals generally pulled by a pair of animals that is bulls camels or horses you must have seen bulls so this is kept in between the uh, two bulls and this part is there in the soil theek okay, hai so this helps in plowing the soil a sturdy wooden plow shaft is attached to the yoke of the neck of animals as i told you this part is attached to the animals plow share is this part the triangular part this runs through the soil as animals drag the plow shaft tilling the ground behind them so animals they move forward when we whip them they move forward and this plow helps to turn or to uh, uh, loosen the soil hi anisha i actually mentioned your name i mentioned your name in the winner list theek hai okay so yes two uh, uh, tools that i talked about was hoe and the cultivator so what is the hoe hoe is a traditional tool that is used for uprooting the weeds as i told you those weeds those are plants which are undesired unwanted growing on their own instead acting as a competition for our crops taking away their space sunlight and nutrients so we have to remove them we can do it with the hoe it has a broad bent iron blade at one end of a wooden rod it is kind of this looks little bit like a spade but it is actually bent theek hai spade is actually straight it helps us to uh, take up things like this but a hoe is bent like this theek hai okay thank you so much everyone for joining in hi okay animals can pull it for working quickly over a large area that is why hoe is used next we come to the cultivator now cultivator is a machine that is attached to a tractor 
ठीक है सो इट कैन बी अटैच टू अ ट्रैक्टर इट इज अ प्लाव विच इज ऑपरेटेड यूजिंग अ ट्रैक्टर ठीक है सो इट हेल्प्स यू एंड एक्चुअली सेविंग टाइम एंड लेबर सो नाव अ डेज पीपल आर मोर डिपेंडेंट ऑन मशीन्स Yes, just like us, we are more dependent on Alexa and uh, Google and Siri and all. So people are trying to become more dependent on machines rather than animals. So they are also using the cultivator. ठीक है? Okay. So next process is process of sowing. Very very important. So after you have tilled the soil or manure, or uh, you have plowed the soil. Yes, Charvi. Very good. Okay. So next process is process of sowing. Sowing is the process of planting seeds or saplings, right? So you can pr uh, plant small, small seeds also, and you can also plant little, uh, little parts of the plant also. That you have learned in class seven about the vegetative propagation, where you take a little bit, little parts of plant, and you can sow that also instead of seeds. That helps in, that helps to grow faster. That helps to grow faster. Okay? Some seeds need to be grown in a nursery before moving them to the field. So that is the thing. Some seeds are grown to little parts and then it is sown in the soil. Once the seed has grown to a sapling, it can be planted in a field. That is, example is paddy, मतलब rice and green leafy vegetables. So what do you do? You first actually grow them in a nursery and then you bring them back and put it in the soil. Very first step of sowing the seeds is to estimate the seed quality. Always good quality seeds have to be used. ठीक है, good quality seeds have to be used. We also call them as H Y V seeds. H Y V that means high yield variety, high yielding variety of crops, right? So high yield variety seeds are used for sowing because good quality seeds will give you a better production. ठीक है? And also how can we test the seeds whether it is of good quality or bad quality? How do we do that? What you can do is you can take a, a jar of water and you can put the seeds inside it. Right now, the good quality seeds will sink in the water. Okay, all the seeds will not sink. Some good quality seeds will sink in the water, and the bad quality seeds will start floating on the water. Okay, those which are floating, they are damaged and they will not give you good crops. Okay, okay, very good, Charvi, very good. Right. So tools for sowing. What are the tools that you use? Two kinds of tools are used for show, uh, sowing the seeds. One which was used traditionally was called the funnel-shaped device. Funnel-shaped device which was connected to pipes after having sharp ends. So funnel-shaped device like this. Okay, so such uh, uh, devices were used traditionally where the seeds were put in and this used to go inside the soil. The seeds used to go inside the soil. So pipes penetrate the soil and drop the seeds from the funnel into the spaces between the soil. This was used traditionally, but it did not give them equal depths. It did not give them equal depths, right? So equal depth नहीं मिलता था. So what happened? The seeds would overcrowd at one place. Seeds would overcrowd at one place. Hi, Shinjini. Hello. Right. So nowadays, nowadays instead of funnel-shaped device, we use we use what? We use seed drill. We use seed drill. So seed drill is used with multiple endings to ensure uniform distance and depth between seeds. So seed drill में क्या होता है? Seed drill is a device which has something like this. So seed drill has uniform depths as you can see, equal distance. So each seed will be sown at equal distance and at equal depths, which actually allow them to grow well. The proper gap between the seed, uh, the uh, different uh, 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 nails of the seed drill, help the seeds to grow in availability of nutrients, water, and sunlight. Yield, yield मतलब good produce, good crop uh, quantity. Yield मतलब कितना quantity हो रहा है, कितना product uh, production हो रहा है, right? Okay. So the proper gap that you can see between the seed drill, the proper gap, it allows equal availability of nutrients. Water and sunlight while avo avoiding overcrowding. So overcrowding of the seeds is avoided with the help of seed drill. That is one very big advantage of seed drill. So you can get two questions, uh, two advantage questions in your uh, exam. That write two advantages of seed drill over the traditional funnel-shaped uh, device. So what you are going to write is first, it helps in ensuring uniform distance and depth. Right, and it also avoids overcrowding. Very, very important. 
ठीक है हाय आदित्य हेलो हाय सो सीड ड्रिल आल्सो कवर्स द सीड विद सोइल आफ्टरवर्ड्स व्हिच प्रोटेक्ट देम फ्रॉम बर्ड्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सपोज यू जस्ट टेक द सीड एंड यू थ्रो इट एवरीवेयर यू जस्ट थ्रो इट सो दैट इट कैन ग्रो बट व्हाट विल हैपन द बर्ड्स विल कम द पिजन द चर्पी बर्ड्स एंड ऑल विल कम दे विल ईट अवे द सीड्स दे विल टेक द ग्रेन्स एंड दे विल फ्लाई ऑफ सो सो गुड क्वालिटी सीड्स विल बी रूइंग but best is seed drill seed drill covers the seeds with the soil on top of it seed rakha and the soil is also covered so the birds will not attack it birds will not attack it theek hai hi disha hello so when used with tractors it ensures quick work with less labor so as you can see behind me seed drill is generally attached it is generally attached to a tractor so that time and labor can be saved theek hai everyone i think understood about seed drill So guys if you are understanding quickly give a like to my video and let me see how many people have not subscribed and are subscribing now so next target is 10000 subscribers theek hai everyone subscribe to the channel and tell all your friends about the channel hit the bell icon hit the like button so that diksha ma'am can come up with more such videos for you hi mahi hello so also guys follow us on telegram telegram link is in the description box Okay finally we come to adding fertilizer and manure and then we will end the session so adding fertilizer is very very important all of you know that all the soil in all the places of our country might not be fertile substances are added to the soil so that any lack of nutrient can be replenished for example whenever you have a deficiency of vitamin a what do you do you either take medicines or you start eating those vegetables which are rich in vitamin a right so any lack has to be fulfilled so that you can grow better similarly even if the soil is lacking anything we have to give it to our uh, it artificially that is why we will add fertilizers and manure to it theek hai yes yes prabha definitely i will do it okay hi rishu hi okay so substances added to the soil to supply essential nutrients to the plants are called fertilizers and manure plant takes minerals from the ground so that is why it is shows healthy growth so what we are going to do we are going to add minerals to the soil so that the plants take those minerals and it grows to be healthy continuous use of the same plot leads to loss of soil nutrients over time of course what farmers have done is farmers have bought a big big plot of land and they are going to do agriculture over it every season after every one season over another they are using the soil and they are growing the crops this is actually doing what this is actually uh, taking away all the nutrients from the soil theek hai it is taking away all the nutrients from the soil the soil has started lacking for example if i tell you people to uh, run day and night day and night you are running day and night you are running and i am not giving you any fruit juice nothing so one day your energy will be over right and if the next day i want you to run again i will have to give you some orange juice some good rest and everything so that has to be done with the soil as well theek hai that has to be done with the soil as well theek hai so continuous use of the plot our lacks the nutrient makes the soil lacking nutrients so that is why we put extra fertilizers or manure a farmer must add manure to the soil for restocking nutrients known as manuring Now of course there is a very major difference between manure and fertilizers. ठीक है manure is what? Manure is the decomposed remains of waste from plants and animals. So manure is absolutely organic. Manure is organic. It's a very trendy word these days. People are trying to uh, eat only organic fruits and vegetables nowadays, right? So organic means absolutely natural, not mixed with any chemicals. Not mixed with any chemicals. Yes yes definitely definitely difference between a uh, uh, fertilizer and manure we will do danya theek hai okay so all the interaction all the nicknames just let me complete this topic i will come back to you ekta okay so this is absolutely organic farmers they dig pits put all animal and plant waste there and leave it to decompose okay so all the natural waste that is cow dung animal dung plant waste all all of them are actually kept in pits all of them are actually kept in pits right and then it is left to rot it is left to rot left to decompose 
Now you know that microorganisms, they will come and attack the dead and decaying plants and animals, helping them to rot even better. Right, helping them to rot even better. Right, so microorganisms help us to do this decomposition. After decomposition, what happens? This waste, it starts rotting, smelling badly, but it is very, very organic and very, very nutritious. Right, this is called manure. This is called manure. Wormy composting can also produce manure. For example, if you take the help of earthworms, earthworms coming inside the dead and decaying parts of the plants and animals can also produce good manure for you. Chicken? Yes, Danya, absolutely. Manure and humus, both are organic. Now, what is a fertilizer? What is a fertilizer? Fertilizer is a factory-made chemical compound of a nutrient used for getting a good yield of crops such as paddy and maize. So, fertilizer is chemical. Fertilizer is chemical. For example, if you are lacking in vitamin A, I give you carrot to eat, that is organic. But if I give you vitamin A medicine, that would be fertilizer in this case. Okay? So, fertilizers are chemical compounds. So, examples are urea, potash, ammonium, sulfate. So, these are the fertilizers that are generally used in the field. But, 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 overuse can lead to soil infertility over time. If you use too much of fertilizers, soil will again become infertile because too much chemicals can ruin the soil. That is why if you eat too much of medicines every time, it can ruin the natural potential of your body. Also, also adding fertilizers to the soil is a significant cause of water pollution. Hey? Ma'am, how water pollution? I am putting it in the soil, soil pollution aap bolte to samaj aata, but how water pollution? Water pollution because whenever it will rain, whenever it will rain, all the fertilizers will wash away and go it into the water, nearby water body, thereby doing water pollution. Chikam? So to avoid this, what can we do? We can allow some time between successive sowing to sell, let soil replenish itself. So what we have to do is, once we have done one season of crops, suppose June to September, I have done one season of crops, I have to let the soil rest. I have to let the soil rest. Okay, we have to let the soil rest so that, so that the soil can replenish itself. Soil apne aapko rest dega. Okay? Okay, also we can use organic manure instead of chemical fertilizers. So, obviously, any time manure is a better alternative than fertilizer because it is good for the soil it is also good for the environment it is not causing any pollution also it is helping us recycle waste okay so advantages of manure very very important for your exam questions what are the advantages of manure it increases the water retaining capacity of the soil because manure is porous it is natural it is helping the soil to retain water not letting the water flow away this will help the plants to actually not have any kind of lack of water. It helps to keep the soil porous. Porous means having holes in it so that water can easily pass and roots can easily penetrate. Also, it helps in exchange of gases. So, roots also needs to breathe in the soil. That is why particles or small holes in the soil will help it to breathe. Okay, Danya only wait for the uh, challenge of the day. Several friendly organisms can thrive in the soil. So, earthworms and many such organisms will be able to live in the soil if we put manure. It adds humus. Humus, all of you know, humus is actually a thing which helps to improve the texture and the nutrients of the soil. So, humus is one part of manure. Okay, okay next, it helps in maintaining the temperature of the soil. It also helps in maintaining a warm temperature of the soil. So finally, finally, another traditional method of improving the quality of soil is crop rotation. Very, very important. Very, very important. A lot of our farmers, they do crop rotation. What do you mean by crop rotation? Crop rotation means that once if you have uh, made any, you have uh, grown any crop, let's say paddy. You have grown rice and paddy, let's say, in your uh, field. After the harvest, you let the soil rest and instead you grow a leguminous plant. Leguminous plant like pea beans. Right? These are leguminous plants which help in the 
formation of the bacteria of called rhizobium 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 bacteria or generally grows in the roots of leguminous plants such as peas beans groundnuts lentils what they do is as i already told you they help to absorb the nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into usable compounds and it also releases the nitrogen compounds usable by the plants in the soil for the plant right so in this way the natural nitrogen comes back to the soil we do not have to use any nitrogen or phosphorus fertilizers that work is done naturally by rhizobium that work is naturally done by rhizobium so generally we should practice crop rotation and that is done by the farmers right do not get confused between crop rotation and shifting cultivation shifting cultivation is actually a very very bad thing done by a lot of tribal people they uh, uh, they grow crops at one land and they leave it and go to another place when they are done with it so that actually makes a lot of lands barren so that is a bad thing but crop rotation is a good thing that has to be done finally let's just compare fertilizers and manure and then we will have the challenge of the day so fertilizers are inorganic soils produced by man whereas manure is the natural matter from decomposed plant and animal dung fertilizers made in the factories manure can be prepared anywhere you just have to take all the natural and the man made uh, dung and all that and you just have to keep it in a pit anywhere you can do it generally farmers do it in the fields it does fertilizers do not provide any humus to the soil because there is nothing natural in the fertilizer but manure adds a lot of humus to the soil ma'am uh, they can put uh, humus without manure humus kya hota hai humus is actually something that is coming from the manure only humus matlab dead and decaying plants and animals so manure mein bhi to wahi kar rahe hain manure mein what you are doing you are taking the dead and decaying plants and animals letting it to rot for some time and then putting that in the soil that is the same thing theek hai ha right amrita that shifting cultivation is also known as slash and burn cultivation right ma'am what are legumes legumes are plants such as peas beans groundnuts these are the uh, plants that help in the growth of rhizobium bacteria theek hai okay it is rich in nutrients needed by the plants such as nitrogen potassium and phosphorus whereas manure is slightly rich slightly less rich in uh, plants nutrients obviously fertilizers they have more nutrients because it is prepared in the factories manure little less rich but absolutely natural and organic fertilizers will reduce the fertility of the soil over time too much use of fertilizers will make the soil infertile manure will retain the fertility of the soil manure kya karta hai manure helps to retain the fertility it will not let the soil go infertile because it is absolutely natural theek hai pit pit matlab gadda pit matlab gadda pit pit banao aap usme sab kuch dalo uh, sare animal and plant dung dalo and let it to rot that is called a pit theek hai so manure helps in retaining the fertility of the soil finally very bad thing about fertilizers it contributes to water pollution water gets polluted the nearby water body will get polluted whereas manure manure is absolutely safe for the environment as it is absolutely natural that is why i always say that go for natural things right always try to eat uh, good uh, fruits and vegetables because eating medicines is not good having directly natural things fruits and vegetables and deriving nutrients out of it is good but eating medicines later on will actually damage your body in the long run theek hai so i hope all of you are clear i hope all of you are clear with the topic let's quickly summarize the topic and then i will show you the challenge of the day so agricultural practices of crop production involve preparation of soil first thing plowing tilling the soil sowing the seeds addition of manure or fertilizers and irrigation irrigation i will do it in the next part so part 3 will be coming very soon where i will be doing irrigation different types of irrigation theek hai yes very good danya absolutely right ma'am agar hum dono cheeze dal de manure or fertilizer to kya hoga kuch nahi hoga that can also be done but we should try to avoid fertilizer that's it tilling is the process of preparation of the soil by loosening the earth and turning it breaking the large particles of earth into smaller pieces and uh, this is called leveling 
smaller pieces and finally uh, leveling will be able to um, break down the larger chunks into small small pieces tilling and leveling allow uniform distribution of air and nutrients in the soil some seeds can be sown directly into the field while some needs to be grown as saplings first vegetative propagation and then finally put into the soil maintaining a uniform distance between seeds is very important and that is done by the seed drill that is done by the seed drill for ensuring healthy crops healthy growth crops must have sufficient supply of nutrients this can be provided by adding either chemical fertilizers or organic manure but always try to go for organic manure theek hai menti menti next wale mein pakka karenge theek hai okay so i hope every one of you know about the unacademy ask a doubt feature where you can ask unlimited doubts at any time and what you're getting in return is high quality video solutions in english and hindi also you will get uh, exact matches for your questions so quickly everyone if you want uh, instant and accurate solutions to lakhs of questions use an academy ask a doubt feature today right so as you all saw in the promo click on ask a doubt you get two options take a picture choose from gallery and just upload a picture by clicking a picture or you can also choose a screenshot from your gallery do not forget to crop the picture to highlight one specific question this feature is absolutely free so why not go and do it today isn't it as long as uh, the plus subscription is concerned i recommend all of you to take the plus subscription so as you can see this is youtube live i explained you few topics but if you want to do the full syllabus with me go for plus subscription you can learn live from the comfort of your own home unlimited access to all the courses top educators are going to teach you at one platform regular doubt clearing sessions answer writing sessions exhaustive coverage of the syllabus and lots more features only on plus right yes danya so as you can see this is my batch which is starting from 5th of april everyone can enroll for this batch i am going to take science from 6:45 pm to 7:45 pm and also we have other top educators for english hindi math and also sst iske baad pricing can be seen on the screen i guess pricing go for more number of months put my referral code db life 10 for discount also we have iconic subscription which is something more than the plus subscription you get a personal mentor you get live doubt solution weekly report parent connect study planner and everything on an academy so the subscription details are here go for more number of months because you get more discount use my referral code db life 10 theek hai so guys this is my referral code db life 10 do not forget my referral code okay so live quiz will be just now everyone i know aap log bahut excited ho ma'am menti kab hoga to menti ke jagah diksha ma'am has brought to you live quiz which is on our an academy platform quickly everyone take down the code free 5 triple zero five three five triple zero five guys this is also a quiz on crop production and management <coughs> yes yes sheetal yeh raha three five zero 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 five i'm also sharing the link of the live quiz in the telegram so guys if you're watching this video later but you still want to join the live quiz later on what you can do is just download an academy app uh use my free code db life tem to unlock your free plan and give out any quizzes that are available on the app okay ekta bilkul ekta ka nickname bilkul banta hai ekta what food is your favorite chalo tell me atharv aapka answer bahut acha tha bahut hi acha answer tha aapka oh very good ghansham very good No problem, Anisha. No problem, guys. Quickly take down the code. Join the live quiz on Anna Academy. Three five triple zero five. I'm sharing it in the Telegram channel. Till then, take down the challenge of the day. If you want to be, uh, if you want to see your name featured in the next part of the video, quickly take down the challenge of the day. Three questions are there. You have to answer all these questions in the comment section. Okay, in the comment section, not in the live chat. In the comment section after the video ends. what is the first step of preparation of soil what does a leveler do and what are the disadvantages of fertilizers three questions for your for the day you have to write down the correct answer in the comment section after the video ends whoever will be the winners 
आई विल राइट देयर नेम्स इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट पार्ट थ्री पार्ट थ्री में आई विल राइट देयर नेम्स ऑन द स्क्रीन हु विल बी द विनर्स ठीक है सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम दीक्षा मैम विनर ऑफ द लास्ट पार्ट डू राइट डाउन इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन द आंसर ऑफ द चैलेंज ऑफ द डे ठीक है ओके सो गाइज थैंक यू सो मच पाव भाजी इज योर फेवरेट देन डेफिनेटली आई कॉल यू पाव भाजी फ्रॉम नाउ माई पाव भाजी एकता ठीक है ओके सो गाइज आई शेयरिंग द लिंक डू ज्वाइन द लाइफ क्वेज एंड वी विल मीट टूमोरो टूमोरो आई हैव अ मेंटी सेशन विथ यू ठीक है तो कल पक्का मेंटी ही करेंगे कल वाले क्लास क्लास में मेंटी होगी थ्योरी नहीं होगी तो कल अगर आपको मेंटी करना है दीक्षा मैम के साथ तो ज्वाइन द सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल हिट द लाइक बटन एंड डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू ज्वाइन मी इन टुमोरोज क्लास ओके आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग द लिंक इन द टेलीग्राम मैम हाउ टू ज्वाइन डाउनलोड अन अकेडमी ऐप प्रियांशु ठीक है डाउनलोड अन अकेडमी ऐप गो टू द टेस्ट सेक्शन गो टू ज्वाइन क्वेज एंड पुट दिस कोड थ्री फाइव ट्रिपल जीरो फाइव ओके सो थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन लव यू ऑल थैंक यू सो मच वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास विथ पार्ट थ्री पार्ट थ्री विल बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई विल डिस्कस इरीगेशन इन द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ठीक है ओके प्रियांशु 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 विल बी माई प्रीतम ओ हो प्रियांशु विल बी माई प्रीतम ठीक है बिकॉज प्रियतम होता है हु इज माई फेवरेट ठीक है यू विल बी माई फेवरेट फ्रॉम नाउ Okay so bye bye everyone thank you so much love you all do remember your diksha ma'am and do not forget to follow my profile on an academy an academy